Welcome back, Casper Ghost, Casper Gang, Casper Fam. We're looking at Casper on the daily time frame on your linear chart. So, what do we have playing out here? We actually ended up breaking through this low, which is really not cash money. It is definitely not something that we necessarily wanted to see, especially considering should we continue to have our white cough accumulation play out uh, in our SOS or sign of strength right here. That's not very uh, like cash money move that we want to see, to be quite honest. Now, however, we still do, like I said, have a chance right here, which even if we were to adjust that, let's say it's like that, that's still fine. So either way, you can see triangle, wedge, whatever you want to call it. Should you actually end up having that play out, then that also means that you do get another try towards the upside. Um, from that point on, uh, I'd say you're in the clear once you start seeing open enclosures above the 618, which is back at about 5 cents, 66 um and should we end up doing that then we are then looking at making a new high now the other thing that we kind of have to check which i to be honest i haven't checked it here in a little bit is the market cap because like we um mentioned here the market cap was making new all-time highs while casper was not so what you can see right here is uh casper definitely is at a demand zone on um, for the market cap i guess at the very least uh, doo -doo -doo. just like that what do you know you are in a demand area so ideally what you want to see here is uh, have this find a bounce and it end up going back on up should it end up going back on up uh, where one I would watch out for would actually be right on over here which basically is just regaining that one candle uh, and then from that point on, it would be taking out uh, these prior highs right here. So once you're able to get uh, open enclosures, especially on the daily time frame for the market cap back above there, that would be like very, very good. But the other thing here is too, you also do potentially have like a trend line test, as you guys can see, roughly. It's not exact, but you can see, generally speaking, what it is I'm necessarily talking about. So you are getting close. Um, only other thing is... Could say that was a fake out, which if that's the case, that's a rising wedge. That means that thing is just going to friggin' die and then you actually do end up going lower, which I would actually be more so surprised by this, but we can't necessarily rule it out. Now... Uh, let me fix this. Even if that was the case, there's also another chance that you do actually end up uh, making one more high right here for the market cap. Going, you know. And then basically the determining factor is whether or not when it goes like this, if it's able to go back on up, then you could look at this instead of saying it's a rising wedge. It's actually more of a leading diagonal where then you just end up going off into the moon or in the sunset uh, and you were to break towards the upside. So even if with this structure right here, you break towards the upside, this is a leading diagonal. That means that you have a lot more upside to go from that point. Uh, you will have drawbacks, but if you do, let's say, have something like this happen, but then you get rejected right on over here and then you end up heading down then you are going to see a steep downside move um that's just like even for market cap speaking so getting back to the price chart could we have this play out potentially yeah um we'd be looking firstly at that 382 where that point of control is at and above all else we want to hold above three cents now um where we are right now very well could actually end up holding um you could potentially see like i said or not like i said but um you have a doji candle right here and you technically also are in a demand area as well uh whether that's super a large demand or small demand um but you're ultimately at like a pivot point as well so you had one over here and then you have like from the candle closures here as well uh basically the same box as the well the reasoning that we talked about but uh should you go lower then we are going to be looking at three cents 81 uh, from there, I'd anticipate a bounce. Then, worst case, you are looking back at about three cents, thirty-seven. Uh, or no, 
three cents 33.70 so yeah there you go um otherwise coming back towards the upside you need to break back above this box right here which is at about four cents 65 so other than that none of this is financial advice these are all just my thoughts and opinions and if you guys could leave a like comment sub all the fun stuff really helps the channel grow and i really do appreciate it other than that you guys have a phenomenal day as always adios muchachos